club based in Oxfordshire for their verdict on Tim, but Tim Butcher's mighty journey. It was an amazing adventure. I'm not so sure whether he should have taken it, but knowing the difficulties that he knew he was going to encounter. As a book, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a real good boy's own adventure as much as anything. Um, but I came away, having read it, feeling very, very sad for the people that, that are still left there. What I really enjoyed was that it was a really exciting book which kept me with it, but also I learnt a lot about Africa. I'm very interested in Africa and I felt this book made it accessible. It's good reportage. Sometimes he tries to make it a bit flowery, it was a bit uncomfortable, some of the diction. For me, it was educational and inspirational in places, but also quite horrifying too. I got a really good picture of the Congo as being a really lush environment environment um, with lots of greenery and rich soil and that surprised me because I didn't think that would be the main message of the book. I enjoyed his style of writing, I liked what he'd written but I'm not sure that I really warmed to him as a character, I'm not sure that I quite understood him. There were some nights, and I've never done this with a book before, where I lay awake thinking about it and thinking about some of the things he'd said. I tell you what, I think he's white a saint. <laughs> <laughs> She has no time.